Well, some inmates across Montana who've committed nonviolent crimes have been released due to COVID-19. The Montana Supreme Court has denied a request to release even more. Last month, Chief Justice Mike McGrath sent a letter to courts asking them to review what prisoners could be released. Disability Rights Montana and American Civil Liberties Union attorneys argue that state prisoners with disabilities are at risk. The brief states that some of the actions at jails, prisons and houses of correction have been inadequate. On Tuesday, the court disagreed, saying the governor's directive and CDC interim guidance best addresses the current crisis. Attorney General Tim Fox says those running jails and prisons take care of inmates. They have done very well in protecting Montanans and particularly inmates and detention staff. So we were somewhat surprised that the ACLU filed a lawsuit just a few days ago on behalf of Disability Rights Montana seeking to force the state of Montana to release literally hundreds of inmates who are in jail or prison. The Montana Supreme Court issued a unanimous 7-0 to zero decision denying the petition for extraordinary writ filed by the ACLU and really pointing out that what they had alleged and claimed was not supported in fact or in law. Now, the Yellowstone County Detention Facility currently holds 368 inmates. Now, that's down about 25 percent.